My name is George. I'm the founder and director of LessonLabAI.com. The website has been created to help save you hours of time as a teacher. Now in this video, we're just going to go through a few of the tools currently available on the site. So once you're logged in, you just need to click on Enter Lesson Lab and it's going to bring up our list of AI tools. Once it's loaded, you can see that you can filter by the type of tool over here on the left. But just for this video, let's find a random tool, for example, discussion statements, and go through how to actually generate some AI content for your classroom. So once it loads, you can see you're greeted with the instruction page. And over on the left, we can click on create and start generating some discussion statements. So we've got two input fields for this tool, year group and topic. Now my year group is going to default to year five because I'm a year five teacher and I've got that set up in my account. So the only input I actually need to fill in is topic. Now we've been doing a lot of discussion about water scarcity. So all I have to do is type that in and click on generate. And you can see that in a matter of seconds, it starts to generate a bunch of discussion statements. Now, once I've had a read through, I can either make some specific changes. So I don't want to regenerate the entire text. I just want to change a certain thing about it. And I can type that in there. I can download the text as a Word document. I can regenerate the whole lot. I can copy the text and I can even rate it so it's easier to find later on in my saved section. So the next tool we're going to look at is specifically for ELL students. It's called language boards. Now, a language board is essentially a soundboard that has a bunch of buttons and the student can press those to help them communicate in the class. So if we go into my boards, we can then see that I've got two that I've made already. We're going to go into this child's name language board, which was a test I was doing earlier. And I can open that board up and we can see here that there are all the buttons that I created for this student. Now, what this is going to do is help them just communicate and ask simple questions in the classroom. Now, the buttons can be categorized into groups and they're across the top here. So we've got just our general classroom, English, geography and maps. And this is going to help them find it. Now, with every button we create, we've got two language options. So if we go into general classroom, hello, how are you? Just a simple greeting. We can hear it in English. Hello, how are you? And we can hear it in this case in Saudi or in Arabic. Now, if I want to add a new button to this language board, I can just click on new button at the top. And maybe we have the question, can I use the bathroom? It's really important for new students to be able to ask that question. Now we have a board icon. So let's just go for a toilet. And I'll select that one. And then, as you saw, we can arrange our buttons into groups. So this will just be a general classroom. I can obviously create a new group if I want. And then I can add that button. Now what the AI is going to do is it's going to take that phrase. It's going to translate it into the language we've asked for. It's then going to turn that into a sound bite in both English and the language that you selected when you set up this board. And we can see it's been added down here. So we can hear it in English. Can I use the bathroom, please? And we can hear it in Arabic. Perfect. Now, once I've created my board, we want to share it with the students so they can have it on their own device and start communicating in the classroom. So to do that, we go back to my boards and we can either generate a QR code for the student to scan or a share link. This is what the language board will look like to the student. So in the top right, we've got the audio. Do they want to hear the audio in English or the language you selected, in this case, Arabic? So let's say the Arabic student is speaking to an English teacher. They might want the audio to come out in English, but they want to read it in Arabic so they know which button they're pressing. So once we've done that, for example, if we find our, can I use the toilet one? Can I use the bathroom, please? They can then ask that question to the English teacher. Now, obviously, if it was the other way around, and maybe the teacher was using the soundboard to help communicate with the student, we can swap that around just like so. And this time when they click the button, you'll see it plays it in Arabic. Over on the left, we've got our groups. We can expand this so they can see the titles of them as well. And this will help the student navigate the language board and find the button that they're looking for. The next AI tool we're going to go through is probably one of the more popular tools on the website. It's called Chat with History. Now, what this does is allows you to have a WhatsApp style conversation with an AI persona of a historical figure. And there are two ways in which you can use this tool. So we've got teacher led and student led. With a teacher led one, it means that you're having a discussion on the board and it's a class discussion. So the children can be asking you questions and they can see what the, uh, the person, the historical figure is replying. Now with student led, it means they can have it open on their iPads or their laptops they have the discussion themselves and what you have on your screen is a copy of every single conversation that's going on. That way you can make sure the students are on task and asking appropriate questions. If you spot anything that maybe shouldn't be being asked, you can send a message to the student which pops up as a message from the teacher just to remind them to get back on track. So if we have a look at how this tool works, you would select teacher-led because we're going to be doing an example of a teacher-led AI chat. 
Now we can go down and we can see there's over 100 different historical figures. So let's go with Neil Armstrong, just as this example. And then you'll see quite a familiar looking interface that looks like any other messaging app. We can start by asking Neil any sort of question. Hi Neil, what are you famous for? And we can see our message pops up on the right. Neil looks like he's typing on the left. And then we can see he's got his response. So that's quite a factual answer. But we can also start asking some more personal questions like how he felt. And you can see here that the AI starts to act as if it is actually the person and offers some personal emotions that this person may have felt in the past. So this is great for a hook lesson, for introducing a new topic or for fact finding if you're doing a biography or you're doing a non-chronological report about a person. And that is chat with history. OK, so the next tool we're going to look at is the all subject PowerPoint slides. And this will take any learning objective and turn it into a downloadable PowerPoint file. So if we go to create on the left again, we can see there are four input fields this time. We've got our year group, which again is going to default to year five for me. We've got our subject, so for this let's go with English. And then our topic, now we've been doing a lot of work on Ernest Shackleton at the moment. And then our learning objective, so the specific objective of that lesson is going to be to use semicolons in a descriptive list. And then by clicking generate, what it's going to do is it's going to show me all the information that appears on the slides. And this is much quicker than trying to generate the PowerPoint file in the first instance. So we can go through and make sure we're happy with all the information that's on the page or going to be on the slides. And then we can make any changes or regenerate. Now, as it says up here, when you're happy with the contents of each slide, click generate slides at the bottom. So by clicking that, this is where it then goes off and creates that PowerPoint file. And you can see the steps that it's going through. So once it's finished generating, you'll be able to see that we've now got the PowerPoint logo at the bottom. That means our files are ready for download. If we click that, it's going to bring up our PowerPoint file. Another great tool on the site is image to setting description. Now we've all seen the AI tools where you can turn text into an image. That is a tool that's available on Lesson Lab AI. However, in this case, we're working in reverse. So we feed the AI a picture. It looks at the picture and creates a piece of text about the picture. So for the inputs, there are four. We've got our year group. Uh, we've gone for a genre, I've set a setting description, specifics to include, relative clause, and then I've uploaded just a nice picture of a beach. And as you can see, if we click on create new, in a matter of seconds, it reads the picture or looks at the picture and creates a setting description for me. Now this is great if you want to use a picture as a stimulus or for any example pieces of work that you want to demonstrate. So this video has just shown you a very brief insight into what the website can do. There are 80 tools currently available. It's free to sign up, you get a free one week trial of some of the premium tools and it's the best way of just experimenting with how AI can help save you hours as a teacher in the classroom.